Hello, my dear students, and welcome to English for Palestine, grade 11. Our lesson today is about future tenses. It is in your book, uh, in your pupil's book, Unit 7, Period 3 and 4. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize the form and the usage of future simple, future continuous, and the future perfect. And number two, use the future simple, future continuous, and the future perfect correctly. Let's start with them one at a time. Let's start with future simple. What is the form of future simple? It's really very easy. The form of future simple is will plus the infinitive form of the verb. Again, will plus the infinitive form of the verb. Now, when do we use future simple? We use this tense to talk about actions that will happen at any time in the future. Again, to talk about actions that will happen at any time in the future. Look at the diagram here. Here, this is the present, and this is future. This is the future. So any action that will happen here is future simple. Let's look at this example here. I will meet Mr. Jamil tomorrow. I will meet Mr. Jamil tomorrow. So tomorrow is here. This is tomorrow. It is in the future. And the form of the verb is will plus meet. Okay? Now, what time expressions used with the, with the future simple? Here we have some of them, like tomorrow, after tomorrow, two days later, next week, next Friday, next year, in 2025, 2050, 2030, in the future, etc. Et These are some of time expressions that are used with future simple. Okay? Now, let's see and do this activity. Complete the following sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Keep in mind that here, this activity is about future simple. And the form of future simple is will plus the infinitive form of the verb. Let's look at number one. I think I to the gym tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening. So where is the time expressions here in this sentence? Yes, it is It is tomorrow evening. Good. Tomorrow evening is an expression that help us that the, that the sentence is about future simple. Good. What about number two? And then we will answer them. Number two, my parents to London next month. Where is the time expression? Good, it is next month. Great. Number three, in the future, robots, my homework. Time expression? Yes, it is in the future. Good. I think it sunny tomorrow. Good. Excellent. So these are the time expressions that are used with future simple, right? Let's now... Again, number one, what is the verb go uh, here? Or what does it become? Go, future, will go, yes. Go, will go. I think I will go to the gym tomorrow evening. Number two, my parents travel to London next month. So travel becomes will travel. Good. Number three. In the future, robots, my homework, do. Well, 
Okay, it becomes will do. Good. Number four. Yes, I think it will be sunny tomorrow. So again, future, simple. The form is will plus the infinitive form of the verb, and we use it to talk about actions that will happen in any time in the future. Future continuous. What is the form of future continuous? Yes, will be plus the ing form of the verb. Will be plus the ing form of the verb. Now, when do we use this tense? Right, okay, we use this tense to talk about actions that will be in progress, that will be in progress at a certain time in the future. Be careful, again, we use this tense to talk about actions that will be in progress in our, at a certain time in the future. Let's look at this example. If you phone at 7.30 tomorrow, if you phone at 7.30 tomorrow, certain time in the future, 7.30 tomorrow, specific, certain time in the future, tomorrow. She, she'll, uh, short form of will, she'll be eating well, plus be, plus the ing form of the verb, she'll be eating breakfast. Again, if you phone at 7.30 tomorrow, she'll be eating breakfast. So, at 7.30 tomorrow, the action will be in progress. She will be eating her breakfast. Look, let's look at the um, timeline here. Again, this is a present. And all of this is a future. This is future. And here, actions are happening here. Now, the action is in a progress. The action is continuous at 7.30. So, when we talk about actions that will be in a progress in a specific time, or certain time uh, uh, in the future, we use future continuous, okay? Now, what time expressions are used uh, in or with uh, future continuous? Let's look here. This time, tomorrow. This time, tomorrow. This time, next week. Or this time, next year. So we have this expression, this time, with future uh, time. Okay, now, second one. At nine o'clock tomorrow. At nine o'clock, specific time in the future. At nine o'clock tomorrow, or at 10 o'clock next Friday. Okay, and also we have in two weeks time, in two weeks time, in two weeks time is an expression that tells us that the action is continuous or in progress. Okay, three years time, this time tomorrow, this time next week, this time next year, okay, at nine o'clock or at 11 o'clock or at 10 o'clock tomorrow or next Friday, uh, in two weeks time, in three years time, in two days time, okay? All of these uh, are, are used with the future continuous, okay? Let's now look at these two examples together. In two years time, everyone, she and food, eat. Here in 20 years time is an expression, it's a time expression that help us to use future continuous, right? And so what is the future continuous of eat? Yes, will be 
Eating, yes, excellent. Will be eating, good. Will be plus the ing form of the verb. Let's look at the second one. If you phone at 7.30 tomorrow, she, breakfast, and the verb have. Again here, this is, this is the time expression. At 7.30 tomorrow, specific time in the future. So we use future continuous. Future continuous, again, will be having. Excellent. Okay. Good. Again, complete the following sentences with the correct form of the verb in brackets. Number one. This time tomorrow. This time tomorrow. You do your exams. Here, this time tomorrow, an expression that helps me to use future continuous. Good. And what is the future continuous uh, of do? Yes, will be doing. Right. Number two, don't phone me at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Again, a specific time in the future at 8 o'clock tomorrow. Future continuous. What is the future continuous of the verb have? Yes, good, it is will be having. Don't phone at me at 8 o'clock tomorrow. I will be having dinner. Number three, this time next week. This time next week, I on the beach. The verb sit. Again here, future continuous. What is the future continuous of sit? Yes, it is will be plus the ing form of the verb, will be sitting. Good. The last one, number four. In two years' time, in two years' time, all students, mobiles in studying and the verb use. Again, the expression in two years' time is used with future continuous. And what is the future continuous of the verb use? Yes, again, will be plus the ing form. It is will be using. Okay, so here we have future simple and future continuous. Good, great. Let's now move to the third tense. It is a future perfect. Future perfect. What is the form of future perfect? Yes, will have plus the past participle of the verb. Will for the future have plus partis past participle for perfect. Will have plus past participle. This is the form of future perfect. Okay, now when do we use uh, this tense? Actually, there are two uses for this tense. The first one is we use this tense to talk about actions that will be completed before a certain time in the future. Be careful, please, and pay attention, my dear students. Again, we use this tense to talk about actions that will be completed that will be completed before a certain time in the future. Let's look at this example here. I'll have finished the work by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. So here, tomorrow morning is a future time, and by 10 a.m. it means before. Before 10 a.m. Tomorrow morning, I'll have finished the work. Again, I'll have finished. This is future perfect. Why? Because I have to finish this work before 10 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. Okay? So this is the action will be completed by 
or before a certain time in the future. Let's look at the timeline here. Again, here, this is the present, and all of this is the future. Now, here, if you look here, this, here, 10 o'clock a.m. tomorrow. It is 10 a.m. tomorrow, here. So I'll have complete, I'll have finished, I'll have finished the work, the work here. So before 10 a.m. tomorrow, I'll have finished the work, okay? So this is the first use of future perfect. The second one is we also use this tense to talk about actions that will be completed before another action happens. Aha, uh -huh, be careful here. Again, to talk about actions that will be completed before another action happens. Look, let's look at this example. She will have cooked the dinner before we arrive. So here we have two actions. The first one will have cooked and the second one we arrive. So she will have cooked the dinner before we arrive. And of, of course, be careful about the second, the second action in present simple, right? The first one, future perfect, but the second one, uh, present simple, okay? So here, again, I'd like to remind you of the two uses of present, uh, sorry, of future perfect. The first one, again, the first one, Oh, yes, okay, yes. The first one to talk about actions that will be finished or completed before a certain time in the future, and the second one to talk about actions that will be completed before another action happens. Okay? Let's now look at these two examples. Or oh, before looking at the examples, what are the time expressions used uh, with future perfect? Here we have by this time tomorrow. And by here, it means before. By this time tomorrow, or by this time next year, etc. By 11 o'clock tomorrow, or by next Friday. You know here, so these are these expressions, specific time in uh, uh, the future, or before a specific time in the future. But look here, by the time, by the time, plus subject, plus verb, before, before another verb or another action happens. So this verb, be careful, this verb, it is in present simple. Let's look at these two examples. Number one, by next year, our restaurant in business for 20 years, and the verb be. Where is the time expressions here? Yes, it is by next year. By next year, it tells, it tells me that the, the, the tense is in future perfect. And what is the future perfect of be? Okay, so will have, this is, this is for the, this is for the future, and been, yes, will have been. By next year, and before next year, our restaurant will have been in business for 20 years. The second one, I, the work by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, here, finish. Again, by 10 a.m. Tomorrow morning, this is, a, the, this is the expression, this is the key word that, help, that helps me to choose future perfect. What is the future perfect of finish? Yes, it is will have finished. Yes, good. Will have finished. Okay? Let's together do this activity to practice future perfect. Look at number one. 
I finish my homework by dinner time. Where is the time expression in this sentence? Yes, it is by dinner time. So here the verb must be future perfect. Good. Yes, so I will have finished my homework by dinner time. Second one, by this time next year, he graduate. Oh, good. So this is the, this is the key word. This is the time expression. By this time next year, future perfect. Yes, will have graduated. By this time next year, he will have graduated. Number three, she fall asleep by the time we get home. As ah, another action, we get home, get present simple. So again here, we use future perfect. Yes, she will have fallen asleep by the time we get home. The last one, oh, by next summer, they, the bridge, again here, by next summer is the key word or the time expressions that helps me to use future perfect and the future perfect of the verb build is will have built. Okay? So, to sum up what I've just explained, look at this here. The first the first thing is future simple. The form of future simple is will plus the infinitive form of the verb. And we use it to talk about actions that will happen at any time in the future. Okay? Second one, future continuous. Future continuous will be, the form is will be plus the ing form of the verb. Notice please. Here, will plus the infinitive form, but here, will be plus the ing form of the verb. And we use it to talk about actions that will be in progress at a certain time in the future. And the third thing is future perfect. The form of future perfect is will have plus the past participle of the verb. Future simple, will plus infinitive. Future continuous, will be plus the ing form. Future perfect, will have plus the past participle of the form. And we use it to talk about actions that will be completed before a certain time in the future or before another action happens. Okay? Now, I want you please to go to your books and do this activity. Activity number three, uh, number two, and number three in unit seven, page 72. Complete the sentences using a future continuous tense of the verb in brackets. Here, circle the correct tense, whether future simple or future continuous and I want you also to do this activity activity or these activities actually activity number two and number three in your in your books please again to practice more about future tenses. I hope that you have enjoyed this lesson. Thank you very much and see you later inshallah. Goodbye.